Well, I've talked about this sleep paralysis before, and I knew it was demon related. I'm listening to a street preacher as I'm driving down Interstate 80 in Pennsylvania, and he brought up sleep paralysis. Demon related. Yep, I already knew it. Demon related. You got sin in your life, you open up doors to demons. Satan talks to you. He'll talk to you anyway if you're a Christian trying to get you to slip. But either way, this sleep paralysis is a demon related thing. But at the end of the day, people out here that have had sleep paralysis will give credit to science as if there's something that can cure sleep paralysis and the only cure for sleep paralysis is Jesus Christ. That's right. That's the only cure for sleep paralysis. Only reason why I've ever had it the three or four times that I've had it, the three or four, I mean, how many times have I gotten, how many times have I said things to God and done things that I've even gone to sleep and I've had these horrific dreams, horrific dreams. God has allowed it to happen. I really, I really don't know what the reason why people would get sleep paralysis because you would think if they ever heard the truth, they would wake up. That if somebody out here had sleep paralysis, you would think that after they ran across the truth that they would realize that it's a demon related thing I mean I'm really surprised that there evidently evidently there's a reason why and I'm not saying I, I don't know what I don't know what the answer is because there are people out here living for Satan all over the entire world but not everybody out here is getting sleep paralysis. I mean, I'm not saying there, I, man, I have no clue, man. I know exactly what sleep paralysis is. You feel like you're awake. You got your eyes closed. You can't move. And then it's like, you go back to sleep and you just wake up perfectly fine. I'm not sure everybody felt like that they were asleep in between the time of that they, I mean, I don't know what to explain, man. I know exactly what it is. It's not like my eyes are open. I got the light on. I can't move. No. My eyes were closed and I could not move. And it's a demon related thing. It is a Satan thing. And I deserved every bit of it. And you can bet that if everybody else out here that's ever had it gets it, you can bet that they probably deserved it. I deserved it. I mean, well, believe me. I mean, I've heard other people say that they've got sleep paralysis and they, and they say that they're saved. Did I ever have sleep paralysis? When I, was, when I didn't backslide? No. Did I ever have sleep paralysis before 2015? Before I got baptized by the Holy Spirit? Not one time in my life. 
Nope. The only odd thing I've ever had was when I woke up and I couldn't move my leg. That, it, that if I would have moved my leg, I would have felt like it would have broke. It was in my joints and my knee. I laid on my side. That's the only weird thing that's ever happened while I was asleep. Literally woke up where I could not even move my leg. Where if I felt like if I just moved my leg like you're moving your leg, if you move your leg, I'd have, it'd have broke. I sit there and I move my foot, move my foot, move my foot. Eventually, it's like my, my leg woke up. But this sleep paralysis, if anybody witnesses this video, it's a demon related thing, man. It's the same thing as if you're out getting high and getting drunk, fornicating, committing adultery, committing idolatry, committing homosexuality, uh, pornography. It's all demon related. Just like all that stuff when you used to hear people that were al alcoholics, it was demons. It's demons. Demons are behind this addiction. I can't remember that guy's name. Uh, I think he, he didn't live here in America, but he said that this woman had like 90 something demons. And it was, it was, the demons was about all these things that was happening to this lady in her life. So if you think it's just one thing, no. Uh-uh. It's multiple things that are happening in people's lives. It could be nail biting. It could be... Uh, man, I, there's all kinds of addictions we have. A lot of things people talk about. A lot of things a lot of things a lot of people don't talk about but you would be shocked that this stuff is demon related and it just gets worse and worse and overwhelming in your life as time goes on that's why you're that's why the Bible says that we're supposed to be seeking God when we're young because the further and further we get away from God the, the less and less chance that we'll ever find God I think that's the reason why the Holy Spirit starts convicting us well that that's not any that's not the answer but I'm gonna say that there's a reason why the Holy Spirit starts convicting us when we're young and we start doing things that we're not supposed to be doing. The, the further and further and time goes on, the less conviction. You may not even get convicted anymore. There are Christians that are not getting convicted no more. There are people out here in this world that are not getting convicted no more because they have been convicted and have ignored the conviction. And like I've said before, there is no guarantee that tomorrow you would ever get convicted again. I'm not saying it would not happen, but I'm saying there's a guarantee that there's no proof that tomorrow you would get convicted. And it could be for eternity till your life is over. There could be reasons of uh, sleep paralysis like God's trying to wake people up uh, because Satan can only be Satan's only able to do so much to an individual out here but either way this is Satan's world God is still in control and it doesn't make no difference at the end of the day. There's not going to be no medication. Well, they could put, you know, they may find something for sleep paralysis, but at the end of the day, 
uh, they're just guessing and they get lucky and run across something when it's demon related in the first place. I don't care. I don't care how, who goes to college and, and listens to someone try to, to degrade God as if he doesn't exist. If Jesus is the great uh, physician, that's the answer. That's the answer. All right, that's enough of this video. I probably already rendered going this long into the video. It was all about sleep paralysis.